audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly You This Is Them reading. Now Pisces, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Pisces, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Pisces. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave it doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, I promise you. If you find some cards that resonate with you though be sure to let me know in the comments below let me know which card called out to you the most because that's how i keep up with y'all so through the comments right and if you do enjoy this reading and you find something that resonates with you i'd really appreciate it for you to take the time to give my video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and then finally pisces this reading's here just to give you some reading uh give you some food for thought right something to consider as you go throughout your week a perspective a perspective to think about um, but i'm not here to make a decision in your life this is just something for you uh to take with you throughout your week uh with all that being said let's get into your reading now pisces with your overall energies now i pulled three animal oracle cards for you we have 42 equaling to six for numerology which says the otter spirit otter spirit you are never alone can we just take a moment to appreciate the heart shape that this is making as well with this otter can we just appreciate the art uh art in general for this this is so gorgeous these two otters um you are never alone. We have the starfish spirit, which is funnily enough, that's how my spirit guide came to me the first time as a starfish. Uh, this is number 59 equaling to five for numerology, open to infinite possibilities. And then you have the falcon spirit coming in as well for you, Pisces. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. Honey, this always gets me. Let me know how to pronounce this. One of y'all, Pisces, how, let me know how to pronounce this. Am I the only one? Equiv equivocation? 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 That is a mouthful. Why ever use that word? You, If you don't know that word, what that word means, basically commit to it without question, without worry or fear, right? So if you were to associate these cards together, I'm so irritated by how difficult they made that word be for this. Hello? <laughs> So if we're going to associate, put these cards together for a message, uh, Pisces, what this is kind of saying to me is kind of, this is kind of like fool energy together, if we're going to think about it. Because it's like, you're considering, uh, you're considering the infinite possibilities that are open to you, right? So this is like being open to any type of narrative playing out. So when it comes to this person, right, you're open to anything, like whatever their answer might be, right? If you're going to come to them with an offer or question or what have you, be open to any possibility, whether that is negative or positive, right? Because there's definitely many uh, possibilities that where something can pan out positively for you and you want to feed more energy into that. Otter spirit comes in of where it's saying you're never alone. And I feel like this card more so comes in for you, Pisces, to let you know that that spirit walks with you almost as cheesy as it sounds right it's, so if you're feeling like a sense of where it's like oh it's too good to be true or you're afraid of messing up you're afraid of putting yourself out there because it's like you feel like it just is not going to be received you feel like what, whatever it is that you feel like you need to have this reminder that you're not alone and it's okay to take this leap of faith right because you're not going to be alone taking this leap of faith but you just need to have faith that it's going to work out um, and then with this falcon spirit act on the opportunity that is just kind of like taking that chance leap, that leap of faith really you know you 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 don't have that fear you don't question it because it's just like you know that your spirit guides have your back you know that things are just going to work out in the way that they need to work out in your life because you're open to all the possibilities that might happen um, with this and you acknowledge that with all those uh, infinite possibilities that your spirit guides um, will assist you in directing you towards the possibility that is most fruitful for you. Or at least that's how I believe and that's how I go through my spiritual belief system. Maybe it's different for you though. Now, Pisces, I'm going to be pulling a card for you, a card for them, and a card for the energy between y'all two to see what's up with y'all. Um, we have the King of Fire on your side of things. So this is another leadership call card, card <laughs> along with the Falcon card. There's really like this calling for you, Pisces, to take action on something, to just do something, go forward with something. And it makes me wonder 
um what's going on like what what do you want to do with this person like what is it do you want to say something with this person do you want to do something what action do you want to take with this person right is this like a person that you want to like ask for a raise is it like i don't know like there's definitely like a sense of where you want to take charge in something but it's something like there's like just some type of resistance or some type of fear and just doing it because of what we addressed with those animal spirit uh, cards, right? On their side of things, they have the two of air or the two of swords coming in for them, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate and pretending there isn't a problem. That would be why you're having, you're feeling the need to take some action, right? Because they're not, they're pretending like there's nothing happening, right? You kind of realize that nothing's going to move unless you decide to move it yourself, right? Because this person is definitely not going to do anything. They're more guarded. They're more in this place of <sighs> ignorance is bliss almost, right? Maybe they, if they, it's like they, if they pretend that there isn't a problem with this connection or if they pretend like there wasn't a fight or whatever your all situation is, if they, if they ignore it enough, perhaps, right? Or if they pretend that it isn't there for long enough, then it just ceases to exist, right? And that's the problem. It's just like you come in where it's just like, no, actually, I really do want that raise. You know, I didn't forget about that raise, right? And the energy between y'all two is the seven of air. Plans need revision, more than going on that meets the eye and poor timing. This is interesting. I really look forward to when we pull some clarifiers for this because I feel like we need to kind of hear both sides of things first before we I say too much on that seven of air, that seven of swords. So why don't we just start getting into some clarifiers now, Pisces? Why did I call you Pisces? Yeah, I am calling you Pisces. I don't know why. Whenever I said Pisces, um, Pisces, um, for some reason my brain like said like Aquarius in my brain so it's like I was thinking Aquarius but then I said Pisces but I thought I said Aquarius <laughs> it's late don't mind me Pisces <laughs> let's pull some clarifiers now for your king of fire though Pisces I promise I know who I'm doing a reading for I promise you back of the deck energy five of wands so there is some type of this is the conflict card Pisces. Now you got you guys. I'm just being so weird in y'all's reading. I apologize. Uh, you guys could have had an actual argument, or there just could be like a uh, tension building up, or some type of displeasure. Regardless of what it is, like they're not pretending like it doesn't exist. They're pretending like there's n like this ha never happened or what have you, right? Um, they have, as well as for your clarifiers, you have, rather, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. So, here's the thing, Pisces. For those that are in a relationship doing this you versus them reading, I definitely see you, if you're wanting to transition and move on from this connection, I definitely see a new pursuer coming in for you. This is just like a side message and I'm still going to associate the messages for how they come into this uh, spread in a separate thing, Pisces. But I do just want to say that I felt inclined to just let my Pisces know that I have been like considering moving on from this connection, right? Because they may not be, they may be fed up with that two of air guarded energy, pretending there isn't a problem being like, okay, you want to pretend there isn't a problem? Me too. I'm out the door, right? And you'll be received by someone else, right? You're going into that new page of wands energy, that new beginning. But back to put all that to the side and we go back to this actual spread of the message, Pisces. Uh, with this Ten of Swords here, I do see this as a sense of still kind of being fed up with this energy. I'm going to be honest here. With this Ten of Swords, you're in this place of being like, okay, like, how much longer? Almost, right? You're just in this place of when does this end? When can we start this new path when are you going to like step forward perhaps right um or maybe this is you stepping forward finally being like okay like let's let's like let's like move on from this let's wash our hands clean of whatever happened right you want to pretend like this didn't happen that's fine but, right we can pretend like that didn't happen because it seems like you're over it at this point anyways and you can just have a fresh new start you come in as the knight of cups offering your cup to them or offering roses in this case right regardless of whatever it is it just it does feel like you also don't don't want to like but i feel like it's almost important like you don't want to acknowledge it either or like you don't want to make too much of a fuss out of this five of wands 
but it's almost like because they're pretending like it's not a thing or pretend like that's not happening, that you still need closure on it in some sense, that you still want to know what the heck is going on here, right? So I can understand that entirely. Um, I can understand that frustration so much. King of Swords comes out with the Sun card. I feel like, yeah, the only last suggestions that I have before I close off your row, Pisces, the only thing I will say is don't think, you th think what you say th through carefully, right? Don't allow your mouth, don't allow your mouth to block you from your happiness, right? There's a quote that I want to just, it's my favorite quote, um, and I use it for all aspects of my life, but there's a quote, I forget who, who says it, but it's the quote of, you can tell someone to fuck off tomorrow. And there's many ways you can translate that quote, but in this sense, I feel like it's one of those things of where you need some time to think things through. You need to, you need some time to not to think things through rationally and be able to speak from a calm demeanor, from a calm place, right? Um, but yeah, let's start getting in on their side of things now, Pisces. Enough about you. <laughs> you came in to hear their perspective as well with this Two of Air, Two of Swords energy. Let's see what their intentions are with you, though. Already we have the Knight of Swords come out, which I don't like, I'm going to be honest. Um, because that Knight of Swords is like that wishy-washy energy. Um, they don't know what they want really either. Mm. A lot of major arcana for them. All right, Pisces, let's break this down. So the clarifiers I have, that Knight of Swords, right? I was just talking about it. It's that wishy-washy energy. Let's me know, though, like they have good intentions sometimes, but then whatever is going on in their head, they sometimes back out, right? It's not an excuse, but it does you... If there is a question that they do want, like if you are... I can understand why it's hard to read them, I guess is what I'm trying to say, Pisces. I can understand why it's hard to read them because it's just like they want to pretend like there isn't a problem, but at the same time, they're not moving on from it seemingly either. Like their actions are just very whatever. Um, Temperance card comes in with the death and rebirth card. I really do feel like... <sighs> Pisces, I don't... I can't give a time frame on when this person is going to come out to a swords, by the way. I can't tell you when this person is going to come out of this energy of this wishy-washy energy but what i can tell you is like they have been in the cycle for a while and i don't think you're at fault for this cycle i feel like they are naturally a wishy-washy guarded person for whatever their reasons are um and this is an ongoing cycle for them they have the strength card in the back of the deck energy that two of swords coming in amplifying that two of swords from before uh that they have with their two of air you know, this is an extremely guarded energy. This is an energy where they aren't willing to see past themselves, almost, dare I say. Like, they have a lot of wants and desires, but then there's something else that they... Something out of balance with them that they that wins over. And so they continue repeating these cycles. With so the Strength card coming in, this is something that they need to do some shadow work on. Something that they need to work on, right? But I don't think they're going to for a while devil card comes in really confirming this is like this is like their achilles heel they have they can have all the intention best intentions in the world they can want anything pure and whatever in the world but until they address this devil which i feel like is more so just amplifying this knight of swords energy for them they're not going to get that and so it doesn't matter what you do in this situation pisces until they do what they need to do with their like life spiritual lesson like they're going to forever remain in this guarded energy and it's kind of up to you to decide if you're going to be patient and wait that out or not right so we have the seven of air finally of where we put a pin on it before so judging it based off of the other cards that we had um this is the card that does say poor timing so i don't feel like i am going to be honest pisces this doesn't seem like a week that's very conducive to getting some type of closure with them, working things out with this person if there is like that conflict that we talked about before with that five of wands. So it is one of those things where it's like, I don't see you guys quite, I don't see you getting closure in this situation, whatever that closure looks like to you um, in this situation for a while, because this person just has like their own thing going on and... 
what have you. But we'll pull some clarifiers for this. Back of the deck energy, the chariot card. Emperor, clarifier, seven of wands, and then the two of wands. Hmm. <laughs> I apologize for that. Uh, interestingly, though, the Page of Pentacles came out on top of it. All the other cards were, like, off of the pile, but the Page of Pentacles was, like, right in the middle of these. I wish you could have seen it. Ah. Uh, this is going to sound really weird, Pisces, and I know probably a lot of you aren't going to even take heed to this advice because <laughs> it is such a weird thing to do, but I kind of get this sense of if you have, like, a talk with them and being like, hey, you do your thing, right? I see, like, it depends on how you word this, right? If you word this in a sense of being like, hey, like, I see you have your own thing going on over here, man. Like, you focus, you do your thing, you know, you do your thing, I'm not going to bother you, but you have to respect that I have to go, I'm like, I have to do what's best for me, right? I can't continue just sitting here waiting for you, right? Maybe this is just poor timing, maybe we can figure something out later on when we're both in better positions, right? But Seven of Wands, Emperor card, you have to have forward movement in your life, you have to feel productive in your life, and just sitting here waiting for them to communicate isn't going to happen, like, isn't flying for you, isn't working out for you anymore. So this Page of Pentacles, I do feel like you cut, like, if you were to explain it to this person, that would be, like, such a good way for you to get closure, for you to say your piece, for you guys to both be on the same page, so it's not necessarily, like, you're closing the door off on this, but you're putting a pin on it, and it won't, you know, like, I, I don't know, I feel like you would act like, let me know in the comments below, Pisces, if you actually do what I suggest, because I really feel like it's, like, you'd be really happy with how, like, the results would be with that. But yeah, Pisces, that's the reading that I have for you. Very interesting reading. Very, oh, <laughs> I do not envy your position at all, Pisces, but I hope this reading was of resonance in some type of way. If it was helpful to you, be sure to give me a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. But until next time, Pisces, I love you so much.